In the summer of 371 BC, the Greek world teetered on the brink of a decisive clash. The recently established democracy of Thebes, having elected four Boeotarchs, the traditional generals of the Boeotian League, boldly announced their intention to revive the League that Sparta had once dismantled. This defiance followed closely on the heels of a stunning blow to Spartan invincibility delivered by Theban general Pelopidas at the Battle of Tegera in 375 BC. Though the victory was modest, it signaled a significant shift in regional power dynamics. Under the leadership of Theban visionaries, the Boeotian League grew stronger, slowly tipping the scales in favor of Thebes. Spartan military expeditions struggled to stem this rising tide. Meanwhile, Thebes's burgeoning power raised alarm in Athens, which had backed Thebes against Sparta since the Corinthian War 15 years earlier. Yet, Theban actions, including the destruction of the pro-Spartan town of Thespiae and the capture of Plataea in 373 BC, strained their alliance with Athens, a staunch ally of Plataea. In early 371 BC, a peace conference convened in Sparta sought to quell the prolonged conflict. Delegates from Athens, Sparta, Thebes and other Greek states, including Macedonia and Persia, attended. Although a treaty was agreed upon, it quickly unraveled. Theban delegate Epaminondas insisted on signing for the entire Boeotian League, a demand rejected by Spartan king Agesilaus. This led to Thebes being struck from the treaty, setting the stage for war. Epaminondas raced back to Boeotia to marshal defenses, aware that Spartan king Cleombrotus I was already advancing. The Spartans, seeking to reassert their dominance in central Greece, took an unexpected route through the hills, capturing the fortress of Crucis and seizing Theban warships. They then marched inland to Leuctra, just 10 miles from Thebes. There, the Thebans faced a fateful decision, confront the Spartans on the plain or retreat behind their city walls. The decision was fraught with peril. The Thebans could muster only around 6,000 hoplites and 1,000 riders. In contrast, Cleombrotus commanded 10,000 hoplites, bolstered by a formidable cavalry. The Spartans' fearsome reputation, having never lost a major hoplite battle, loomed large. Amid high tensions, the Boeotarchs deliberated their options. Initially inclined to defend the city, they were ultimately swayed by Epaminondas and Pelopidas, the victor at Tegira. They resolved to take the risk, march to Leuctra, and confront the Spartan threat head-on. On the 6th of July, 371 BC, under the scorching Greek sun, the Theban army arrived on the plain near Leuctra, ready to face the formidable Spartans. King Cleombrotus of Sparta deployed his forces in their customary formation. A solid line with elite Spartiates anchoring the powerful right wing, supported by regular allies. Unusually inexperienced Spartan cavalry took the precarious front position, perhaps a sign of overconfidence in their famed infantry's prowess. Epaminondas, the brilliant tactician leading the Theban forces, assessed the daunting challenge ahead. While conventional wisdom dictated mirroring the Spartan lineup, Epaminondas opted for audacious innovation. He placed the sacred band, revered for their skill and valor under Pelopidas, on the left flank opposite the Spartans' finest. This strategic gamble was complemented by an unusually deep formation on the Theban left aimed at overwhelming the Spartan elite and disrupting their formation. However, this left the remainder of the Theban line, comprising Boeotian allies, perilously thin and vulnerable. As the morning haze lifted, the clash began with a skirmish of cavalry, where Theban horsemen, superior in experience and numbers, routed the Spartan riders. The 
the retreating Spartans inadvertently disrupted their own infantry's formation, creating a temporary chaos. Meanwhile, the Theban infantry advanced in echelon formation, with the left surging forward while the rest held back to delay the inevitable clash. Cleombrotus, realizing the mismatched alignment of the Theban forces, urgently barked orders to reorganize. But before his orders could restore order, the Theban left flank crashed into the Spartan right with thunderous force. Amidst the cacophony of clashing weapons and the agonizing cries of the fallen, the Thebans gained local superiority. The sacred band, under Pelopidas' inspired leadership, dealt a fatal blow to the Spartan right, causing it to crumble and retreat in disarray. Many Spartan leaders fell in the melee, including King Cleombrotus himself, mortally wounded in the chaos of battle. With the Spartan right collapsed, the Theban center and right advanced, emboldened by their initial success. Epaminondas and Pelopidas prepared to flank the remaining Spartan forces. The tide of battle turned decisively against the Spartans. Tactical disarray and the loss of key commanders forced the remnants of the Spartan army to retreat hastily to their camp. The cost was staggering. Over a thousand Spartan warriors perished, among them 400 Spartiates and their king. In contrast, Theban losses were relatively light, with around 120 brave soldiers falling in the heat of battle. The Battle of Leuctra marked a monumental victory for Thebes, shattering the myth of Spartan invincibility and establishing Epaminondas as a masterful military strategist in ancient Greece. The Battle of Leuctra stands as a pivotal moment in ancient Greek history, marking a dramatic shift in power dynamics among the city-states. Led by the brilliant strategists Epaminondas and Pelopidas, the Thebans achieved not only a decisive victory, but also shattered the myth of Spartan invincibility that had loomed over Greece for generations. The impact of this battle reverberated throughout the Greek world. Sparta, long regarded as the preeminent military force, suffered a profound loss of prestige and influence following their defeat. The heavy casualties inflicted on Spartan elite troops, including their king Cleombrotus, severely weakened their military might. In contrast, Thebes emerged emboldened and ascendant, leveraging its newfound dominance to expand its influence across Greece. In the aftermath of Leuctra, Thebes rose to prominence as the leading city-state, surpassing even Athens and Sparta in power. This shift in the balance of power paved the way for Theban hegemony, reshaping the political landscape of ancient Greece. However, the repercussions extended beyond immediate gains, as the Battle of Leuctra also set the stage for subsequent conflicts and power struggles among the Greek city-states. 
Furthermore, the defeat of Sparta at Lotra played a crucial role in weakening Greek unity against external threats. It left a void that was later exploited by Philip II of Macedon, who, inspired by the military innovations of Epaminondas, would rise to dominate Greece and lay the groundwork for Macedonian hegemony. The Battle of Leuctra thus marks a turning point in Greek history, not only for its immediate consequences on Sparta and Thebes, but also for its enduring impact on the trajectory of ancient Greece, culminating in the rise of Macedon and the Hellenistic era. On this channel, we are putting together narrative historical cinematic battles. Make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.